Okay, and welcome to day three rotations in the coordinate plane. Okay, so I've got two basic questions inside my essential question. What are the different ways to rotate shapes in the coordinate plane? Part one. And how can I rotate them? So there's a method to rotating them, and how can I, or what are the different ways I can rotate them? All right, so let's dive right into example one. Now, if I look at example one, I've got two triangles, and the one on the left is the original, because it does not have primes. It is BXN. And then I see B prime, X prime, N prime. So the triangle on the right has been rotated. And if I'm looking, it looks like it's spinning around the center, and it's uh, which is the origin, and it is going counterclockwise. So what that means is I want to look directly at point B, and point B is negative 4, comma, positive 1, right here. And that changes to point B prime in the second shape, in the second triangle, to negative 1, comma, negative 4. All right, so let's look at specifically what changed. A couple of things jump out at me. One, it looks like uh, the sign of the Y changed from positive over here to negative over here, the 1 also switched. So it looks like the sign of Y changed, and then X and Y traded places. And that's how you rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. You change the sign of Y, and then you switch X and Y. And that's to rotate counterclockwise. All right, so we've rotated counterclockwise. How can we rotate? Uh, how can we let's practice these? Um, so uh, I would suggest to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to do A with you guys. Um, so let's take a look at A. I'm going to change the sign of Y to positive, and then I switch the places to 1, 14. All right, go ahead and pause the video and go and do B through, B through F on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we'll check our answers. Go ahead and pause. And we're back. Okay, so um, you should have at least seen that all you were doing was changing the sign of the original uh, Y value and then switching X and Y. Sweet. I hope you got them right. If not, go ahead and take a look back at the answer and then pause the video again. All right, so let's take a look at uh, shape number two. So how did this shape rotate? Okay, um, it looks like the shape rotated um, this time spinning to the right or clockwise, and I want to look specifically at point K. So point K originally is 2 comma negative 4. And in the second graph, that point changed to negative 4 comma negative 2. Uh, so this is slightly different. The, the, they did change places again, but I see that instead of the sign of Y changing, it's the sign of X that changed. Okay, so 2 is positive, and it became negative, and then they switched places. And that's how you rotate 90 degrees clockwise. You change the sign of X, and then switch X and Y. All right, make sure you have this written down, and then when you are ready, we've got some practice. Okay, so let's take a look at the practice. I'll, again, I'm going to do G with you guys. And then go ahead and do G through L on your own in your notes. Okay, so um, I've got point G. I've got to change the sign of X. So the X here is positive. So I'm going to change that to negative and then switch the places. So go ahead and pause the video. Do H through L on your own and then unpause and check to see if you got them right. And we're back. Um, and yep, all I did was change the sign of the original X and then switch. All right, so let's take a look at another rotation. And here, uh, it looks like I rotated this shape uh, 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter in what location, if I turned it uh, counterclockwise or if I turned it uh, clockwise, counterclockwise or counterclockwise, uh, counter or clockwise rather, <laughs> it doesn't matter which way I turned it, it looks like it ended up in this place here, which is 180 degrees. So let's look specifically at coordinate V. In the original shape, it is 4, negative 2. And in the next graph, it got switched to negative 4, positive 2. Now, disregard these numbers. I actually rotated the graph itself to give you the new shape. And it is negative 4, positive 2. So they didn't switch places, but it looks like the way to rotate a shape 180 degrees or point 180 degrees is just to change the sign of x and y. That's all we're doing. So um, if all we're doing is changing the sign of x and y, uh, I'll do m with you guys, and then go ahead and pause the video and try uh, n through r on your own. So again, all I have to do is change the signs of x and y, so 5 would become negative and 1 would become positive. 
and that's n prime. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do n through r on your own. And we're back. All right, so you guys should have just changed the signs of each of these numbers. Not a big deal. And I hope you got them right. If not, go ahead and review 180-degree uh, rotation. Sweet. So um, that brings us to three basic ways that you can rotate a shape around the coordinate plane. Um, when we get to the practice test, we're going to look at rotating around a point. Make sure your table of contents are updated and write your summary if you're with me. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, keep doing the math.